This is a brief overview of the Nexus DR software that powers the Varex wireless DR detectors. Uh, we've launched the icon and we're inside the software. This is the screen you'd be presented with when you first begin. As you can see, it says the panel's not ready. That's because we're in demonstration mode, but in a live um, situation, the panel would be ready and these indicators would all tell you that you'd be ready to start working. The buttonology is very simple. Uh, this is the workless button. If you were to be interfaced with modality workless at the site, you could click on this and you'd be presented with the, uh, the list of patient orders for the day. In this situation, we're uh, in a closed environment. So we would click on the patient list and we're presented with the, uh, the patients that we've already done. And it's very simple to add new patients or if you wanted to try to find somebody we'd already done, you can just simply click on the folder here and you'd be able to search by their name, their ID, their accession number, or you can use a date range and try to find the patient that you're looking for. In this instance, we'll just add another patient by clicking on the plus sign. And you can see that there's minimal information needed to move on to the acquire screen. We just need to satisfy the fields that are highlighted in red. So we'll put in just some basic information to get us going. And then you click on the arrow to move to your next screen. As you can see, you're presented with both an anatomical view of a human, humanoid, um, that'll show you the basic anatomy as well as the spine work that could be done. You've also been presented with a listing alphabetically of all the different views that are available to you as well. So depending on the way you like to do your work, you could either pick it off this list, you could type in and search for the view you want to do, or you could choose it off the anatomical view, uh, and each one of these will have the, uh, the same views available to you. It's just a matter of the workflow that you like to do. So we'll choose a pelvis, and once we've chosen it, we click on the box over at, at the right side, and you'll see that the panel is showing as ready. When you see the green bar is full for ready, you're ready to make your exposure. And once the image is taken, it's going to show you a preview in one to two seconds, and your full image, uh, processed image, is going to appear in four to six seconds. Once you've acquired your image, you've got a, a bevy of post-processing tools available to you in the acquisition uh, viewer. You can rotate your image 90 degrees. You can do your, uh, your flips left and right. You can do the flip top to bottom. Um, you know, whatever, whatever may need to be done to get the image oriented properly. You can also crop the image by simply uh, starting and dragging a box and clicking on the crop icon again and the image will be cropped down to the, uh, the region of interest that you wanted to see. If you wanted to undo that task and get rid of the shutter, you just simply click on delete the shutter and it'll ask if you want to get rid of it. You say OK and your image is back to normal. You can also do polygons um, and we can do the, uh, the rectangle. We can also recalculate the exposure index within the cropped image. Other features available would be annotations. So there are some preset annotations that you can use and you simply drag them over and lay them on the film. You can also create new annotations if needed. And we've already got test in there, so we'll make test two. And we click OK, and that becomes one of your presets. And then you can drag that onto the image as well. And you can move these around. There's really no uh, limit to the number of ways you can move them. Um, you can even turn them a little bit if you needed to turn them for any reason. So very functional. And once you're done with that, you hit close. And we say, yes, I want to change and, and keep these uh, changes I've made. We can also put markers on the films. So you can either click it and one will appear, or you can drag it over and place it where it needs to go. And standard feature for most of these type viewers would be window and leveling. Just click on the window level and then drag the, uh, the mouse uh, up or down, and it'll change the brightness and contrast of the image for you. Another feature is the advanced image processing tool. When you click on this, you'll see that you have um, enhancements. Then you can go either left or right. And if you move to the left, 
you'll notice that the image begins to look a little smoother. And depending upon the way you like to see your image, this may be what you prefer. Um, if you move to the right, you'll see that it makes the image a lot sharper. So this is a way for you to post-process and, um, and get an image to look a lot more the way you want it to look without a lot of, um, without a, a lot of extra maneuvering um, inside the settings of the software. You've also got access to standard tools like a, uh, a measurement tool where you can measure in millimeters or you can change the, um, the measurement calculation into inches depending upon what you want to see. You can make the annotations larger or smaller and you can also change the color of the annotations depending upon the background and where you're trying to place them. You also have access to a zoom tool which would allow you to uh, zoom in on the image, either a one-to-one -one ratio, two-to-one ratio, depending upon um, the region of interest and what you're trying to see. Uh, to get back out of that, you just simply click on the top button there and it gets you back to the view that you were watching to begin with. When you've made your changes and you're satisfied with the image, simply click on Close Patient and it'll ask you if you want to suspend this study since we have some work to do still, or we can close the study. Once we've closed the study, we go back to our original work list screen here and we're ready to move on to the next patient.